You're watching News 4 Midday. Welcome back to News 4 Midday. Looking for something to do this weekend? Well, Pat Lawson Muse and the Washington Post Ellen McCarthy are here now with the weekend scene. Time to look ahead to the weekend scene with Ellen McCarthy of the Washington Post's weekend section. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm uh, great and anxious to get to the weekend. Yeah, me too. Uh, now, we all know how to find most of the monuments and memorials, but you're going to feature this weekend some that are a little off the beaten path. Yeah, well, the thing is there are so many around here that it's easy to sort of let your eyes glaze over at one point, you know, because <laughs> there's just every corner you see something different. So what we did is pick 10 that you maybe sort of don't know about or haven't really taken the chance to stop, including this one. Of Jim Henson and Kermit, which is uh, at the at, uh, University of Maryland, and the Japanese American World War II Memorial, which is really almost sort of a, an apology um, to, to the Japanese Americans who were interned. And what we did was sort of really look at the history of our, our uh, writer, Michael O'Sullivan, and also the artistry, because really, you know, they're monuments, but they're also sort of pieces of art in and of themselves. So they're worth stopping to look at when you have the time. Interesting and educational. Yeah. Uh, for the kids, Cooling, spray grounds. Spray grounds. Have you ever heard that term? I have spray not. grounds? I hadn't either, actually. But it's one of the newest trends in amusements for kids. And it's really a good alternative to going to the pool where, you know, maybe the kids want to get in the water and you as a parent are <laughs> nervous. What these are sort of um, uh, jet streams and waterfalls and um, raining trees where kids can sort of splash around, you know, not have nervous parents, cool down, run around, get their energy out. And and sort of, um, you know, as a parent, you don't have to get in there and get wet with them. You can sort of be on the sideline. And most of them are free. They're popping up everywhere in the district and Maryland and Virginia. So we'll tell you where to find the closest one to you. A lot more interesting than just turning on the hose, the garden hose, yeah. or using Mr. Wiggle. Remember Mr. Oh, Wiggle? Yeah, the yeah. slip and slide. They were cool. Uh, finally, we're going to talk about uh, football. Because uh, it's the weekend and the season is approaching. It's that time, right? Yeah. Fan Appreciation Day at Redskins Park. So this is the time where you can go sort of watch a scrimmage, of course. You can listen to Coach Zorn, who will be there and, and, and will be addressing the fans. Also get to get a lot of autographs signed if you're a fan. You can go and sort of get your picture taken with some of the old Super Bowl trophies. But also just sort of hang out, get to know the team, hear the band, wear your colors. The cheerleaders will be there, of course. So it's really just a big pep rally to, to sort of get ready for the season, which is coming up. Yeah, there were a lot of folks there last week. Yeah. Yeah, so it should be a good crowd. All right, Ellen McCarthy. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. And you can find many of these uh, stories and many more events going on this weekend on the web. Simply go to the DC Scene page on NBC4.com, or you can visit WashingtonPost.com slash weekend. Uh, dozens of Japanese Americans gathered on Capitol Hill to reflect on a darker period of American history. Sunday's memorial marked the 20th anniversary of the Civil Liberties Act of 1988. That was the year the federal government apologized for forced internment of more than 120,000 Japanese Americans. The National Japanese American Memorial was built to pay tribute to Japanese Americans who defended the United States during World War II.